Hey, welcome to another of beers, Jack of Barbecue. Check out the ribs we did on the SNS kettle. Hey, I'm Craig, Man Behind the Cameras Jack. I almost wanted to say SNS Travel Kettle because my original plans was to get a rack of ribs. Um, just going to get them at Giant. I normally go to Costco, get three racks at a time, um, do them in different ways so I have leftovers, all those things. But I thought I'm just going to get one. I was going to actually cut it into sections and do it on the SNS Travel Kettle. When I got this thing, it was so nice looking. I'm like, I'm doing the whole thing. Um, and this isn't trimmed to be any competition because there's no competition going on here except for who's going to eat the most ribs when we're done. So uh, I leave everything on it. Don't trim anything on it because I figure nothing's going to go to waste. If you don't want something while you're eating, you just don't eat it. So uh, hit it in advance here with a PS seasoning blue ribbon competition style rib rub. Haven't tried that one before, so I'm interested to try it. As you know, we light everything up with uh, fire cups when we start our fire. Um, just throw one in the middle of the fire, depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes use a cage, most times just the way it is here. Um, and going to put them on, like I do like a three hour typical um, first part smoke. Then maybe an hour to an hour and a half wrapped. And then maybe a half hour at the end. We'll see how the tenderness and all those things are going at that time. So uh, see you on the grill. All right, if you hear any noise, got the, uh, the generator cycling. Smoke was good right before I cleaned everything off, so we got a little bit of uh, dirty smoke going. That'll settle down. I do have a little bit of water in the water pan, and uh, we're just going to let it, these on for probably three hours. Might check in by the two-hour mark, but other than that, just going to let them sit. Grill's running right around 260. All right, so we're just about two hours, 15 minutes in. I just want to spin it around. But man, is that looking sweet. Like I said, this rack was really nice looking. I'm gonna let that go for another 45 minutes. It looks like the coating's mostly set almost everywhere already. So uh, we'll bring it back when we wrap it. All right, gonna wrap them up. It's been three hours now. Man, it looks so nice though. So. Always do it down. Let's say going back on with them. Now the top part is down. This is gonna be a good hour sitting this way. Might check them to see, make sure everything's pulling away from the bone, but I'm assuming the way it looked in an hour to an hour and a half, it's gonna be almost perfect. Then we'll pull it out just for a little bit to kind of get that um, the coating back uh, hardened up a little bit and we'll be done. All right, that's been just over an hour. I just stirred up the coals before uh, we did this. So I'm gonna take a peek at it, make sure it's pulling away some. You know what, I think it's gonna be good enough that we're gonna put it back on uncovered now for like the last hour or so. We'll see, I'll do a, they're getting nice and flimsy. And they're pulling away from the bone here some. I'll get this out of your way so you can see it, but it's pulling away from the bone up front here. I'll do a little probe test in about 45 minutes or so, see where we're at. Bring it back then. All right, so we're gonna pull them off. They aren't quite as tender as I want them, but they're pulling away from the bone and everything thing looks good. They're just nice and thick. I mean, they, they, they got some bend to them, but not as much as I would like to them. But we'll see what happens when we cut in. Whenever they was cooked, it's just a matter of how tender they're going to be. See you on the cutting board. As always, cheers. Here we are, end of the cook. Nice rack of ribs on the SNS kettle. So normally, like I said, Costco ribs much thinner than these are. Three hours unwrapped. An hour wrap, maybe a half hour, they're done falling apart. Um, kind of way I like them actually falling apart. This one here did three hours, did an hour wrap. It was starting to pull away on the bottom end over here, um, so I pulled them out. Well, I ended up having them unwrapped for another hour and a half, 
and I still don't think they're quite done for the way I like them to be falling apart. So the pull away from the bones, all those things, I think it's going to be fine. But I'll expect them to be a little bit more tender at this point, being that it's going on six hours or five and a half hours at this point. So uh, I said hit him, hit him nice with PS Blue Ribbon competition style rib rub. And let's see what happens here. Got to find the... Uh, let me do it this way, where I get to the bone easier, through the bone quicker. I always try to find how that cuts through as a, a fun task. It's cutting through nice and tender here. Get this out of the way so you can see them. Seems nice and juicy, seems pretty much almost fall apart there. Let me take another bite. I was pretty. I was still far away from the bone there. Still not a good picture to show, but it did pull away from the bone when I kind of bit into it. They're not super tender like I like them, but they're actually pretty good tasting. Color got fantastic. Um, definitely a lesson learned for this type of rack that I've kind of never really done this one this thick. So definitely next time I'm going to wrap them a little, keep them wrapped longer. Let that cooking process get further down the road before I take them on the un unwrapped side. But uh, it's still going to be a good dinner. Flavor's excellent. Hope you like what you're seeing. Subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell to get a notification. And we'll see you next time.